Now we're talking about run-on sentences. So I know run-on sentences can be scary if you've ever gotten a paper back and you've got the big red letters R-O, but the good news is they're pretty easy to fix. So the definition of a run-on sentence is two or more independent clauses that are joined inappropriately. Now that could mean a variety of things, but the good thing to know is that the three easy fixes are right here. So in, when you find a run-on sentence, when you've got those two or more independent clauses, you can instead join them with a semicolon, or you can use a comma and a fanboy, and the fanboy are those coordinating conjunctions, for and nor, but or, yet or so, or you can identify your clauses and split them all together with a period. So you've got some options there, but they're pretty simple options. The one tip I have, though, is to make sure when you're looking at identifying run-on sentences, make sure to label your clauses to make sure that you actually have one. There can be some sentences out there that look like run-ons that aren't actually run-ons. So let's take a look at this first example. We have, I was cooking dinner and watching TV. So that looks like we've got the and there. Maybe we have an improper joining, but we've got to double check and make sure we've got our clauses. So we have subject one is I, and what was I doing? I was cooking dinner. So there's my verb, all right? And I know and is a conjunction, it's joining something. So let's look over here. Well here, I have watching TV, which is another verb. I don't have a subject out here, so this actually isn't a run-on sentence. So this is what I mean when I, make sure, when I say make sure to label your clauses before you go in and change things. If you were to get rid of this and and put a semicolon there, it would be grammatically incorrect because this side could stand on its own, but this side couldn't. All right, let's take a look at a different example. I was cooking dinner and then I watched TV. All right, let's look for subjects. So we've got I there, and again, our verb is was cooking. And if we look after our conjunction, we've got another subject, I, and then another verb, watch. So this is a run on sentence because we know the rules are that if you've got two independent clauses, they've got to either be joined with a comma and a fanboy a semicolon, or split up with a period. So if we take a look at how to fix this run-on, it's pretty simple. You've got three different options. The first one would be throw a period in here, capitalize your A, and you've got two sentences. I was cooking dinner, period, and then I watched TV. And remember, it is okay to start sentences with those coordinating conjunctions. If you wanted to keep it all together, maybe for flow, or you've got some other choppy sentences in there, instead of your period, you could just add a comma, because we know that a comma and a fanboy, which and is one of, can work to join two independent clauses. All right? And the last option, if you want to show some distinction, you want to maybe make it less wordy, get rid of your conjunction altogether, we can turn this comma into a semicolon. I was cooking dinner, then I watched, then I watched TV. Just remember, if you go this semicolon route, these two sentences or these two clauses need to be very closely related. You couldn't say, I was cooking dinner, semicolon, I want to go out for tacos. It doesn't really have that close of a relationship. So those are three easy ways to fix those big scary red ROs in your sentences and I hope that that helps you.